Okay, from the front view, first thing that I want to do is move the arm controller into position. So we'll grab that, move that down about right there. Then I'm going to switch to the top view and move that back just a little bit. Uh, about right there. I'll go back to the front view and I can see that this model's shoulders are a little bit higher and a little bit wider. So I'm going to select the root object of the shoulder controls and select the left scapula joint and we'll just move those up a little bit about right there and then I'm going to uh, have the shoulder root selected and the FK shoulder controller and we're just going to move those out a little bit about right there okay the way that I have this arm rigged is that I have the IK tag on the FK controllers uh, so uh, what I want to do is go into the axis tool to position um, the uh, elbow FK controller like I would have positioned if it was a joint but if I move the uh, FK controller in the axis tool then the points of the spline will not move with it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a CD lock constraint so I'm going to hold the control key down call the command and make sure that all of these options are disabled because I don't really want to um, uh, lock the um, elbow uh, the FK elbow controller to any axis or any position I just want to apply the tag so I'll hit OK and then what I'm gonna do is scroll down here and enable this new option uh, called lock points and that way the points will move with the uh, elbow controller when I move it in the uh, axis tool. So we'll now move that into position about right there and let's see look at it from different angles here uh, maybe we'll put it about right there okay that looks good okay now this character's hand is rotated differently so uh, we'll have to make that adjustment and the way that I have this hand rigged is it has a position and rotation constraint on it so uh, that means that if I'm in the axis mode and rotate the uh, hand joint all of its children will rotate in the opposite direction so we'll make uh, our adjustments here in the hand and it looks like I need to twist it a little bit let's see let's rotate that back a little more still needs a little more twist there we go okay now to uh, adjust the joints of the fingers I'm going to use a combination of positioning the joints and manipulating the sliders on the CD hand tag 
So let's uh, start with the pinky. I'll move that joint down. Oh, about right there. Let's move that solver object too. And it looks like we need to rotate rotate that a little bit like that and let's take a look at it from here might need to twist it just a little bit like that okay now uh, I'm going to move these joints using the option key and the Z position parameter to get that centered. Let's see. Uh, that looks about right. And also the same thing on this one. Oops, and then I'm going to select the CD hand tag and also holding down the option key I'm going to uh, adjust these poses about like that and adjust the curl a little bit. And it looks like the the root joint could actually be rotated on the x-axis a little bit too. Oops. Okay. That looks pretty good. And uh, now what I'm going to do is pause the video and go ahead and adjust the rest of the fingers. Okay, here I have all of the joints of the fingers adjusted. And now uh, it's time to mirror all of the adjustments in the arm, on the left arm, over to the right arm. So the first thing I'm going to do is copy the current... Uh, hand CD hand tag sliders from the left to the right and to do that I select the left arm controller then control sl select the right arm controller and call the CD hand pose copy command okay and now we'll uh, mirror the position of the right arm controller. So I'll select it. Control select the left arm controller and check my parameters here. Okay. And next I want to mirror uh, the right shoulder root which has all of the shoulder controls in it. So we'll select those mirror and finally I want to mirror all of the right arm joints to the left and there we go okay now we will we'll set the new bind pose and also set the new bind poses on the CD hand tags. There we go. Now I'm going to switch my display here. And now I'm going to transfer the skin and I simply select the original mesh uh, then control select the destination and use the CD 
transfer skin command. Okay, let's hide the original and there we have the uh, the new mesh is skinned. Now let's uh, take a quick look at the weights. Uh, they look pretty good. Mm-hmm. You can see it did a pretty good job of uh, transferring the weights. And there you go. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Adios.